Yeah. I got a pair of Adidas shoes in today. Oh, shoot. Oh. These are, these are really nice. Um, I opened it up this morning. Ran upstairs. Joe's with Adidas? I no. I know what it is, dude. Wow. I asked my wife for 15 minutes. So they, and they send you a few different insoles, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these insoles. No, now. no, no. No, no, no. You it got show, the room starts off. With, with, right here with Harry. Wow. Right here with his hair on fire. Oh, my God. Really goodness. quite neat. Um, it's really wild looking. I love it. The, the one that matches that is another one with Harry when he gets the, uh, when he gets, when he gets uh, feathered and he gets the, fe uh -huh. <laughs> the feathers blown on him. But that one was pretty dope. Then you get Marv with the nice, uh, Ironer imprint on his forehead. <laughs> yeah, that's classic, dude. And you also get Marv trying to uh, go through the doggy door down here, trying to put, put his foot through the damn dog door. I thought that was dope. And then you open up the shoe, and it has it, they come wrapped like Subway sandwiches now. Shout out, yeah. To they always do that now. I noticed that. Yeah, and uh, we're just gonna go through a couple of the extras that they give. Before I show everybody some things, where's that? Man, I was not expecting this. I knew you had them coming, but I forgot. They come with this right here, uh, these extra pins. I haven't opened them. Or I can take them out right now. They come with these extra pins. Um, Like, for instance, the getaway van that these guys have right here, you know? Yeah. Uh, the Wet Bandits getaway the wet bandits. van. I like the logo. That's dope. It shows the fan that, that, that he got feathered in. It uh, has a little jingle ball. That's it's like where, where his clothing got ripped off at. It has the ironer, the famous iron right there. These are really small. That's and what then, she said. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. And then it's got the fire extinguisher. And then it's got the, 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 the famous paint can that smacks him in the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's and then we'll so move awesome, on to the man. two. Um, I'll show one with the strap and one without the strap so everybody can get the full effect here. Um, the strap actually um, is really pretty cool. It just says it, it comes out like that, you know. And it's uh, the other strap has a little saying. I'll show it to you. But this is this is it comes there. It shows the ripped Adidas part. And then the, uh, the other strap that comes on the, sh on the shoe. I'll take it off as well so everybody can see what it says. It's easier that way. Uh, it's really pretty cool. It's uh, the features on the shoe are through the roof, and especially for the holiday season, this is great. Um, hold on just a second here. Okay, I got that coming off. Man, it's a Christmas yeah. shoe 100 percent. One thousand, it says on the inside of this strap. This is my house. I have to always defend it. And uh, that's the straps on the shoe. That's so cool that it has that behind the strap. So cool. And I saw Dell's pull out his without the strap sometimes, so I tried it. It does have the the, 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 rug, the front right rug, there. the front rug, it and also have, oh, go ahead the burning the, the little ironer mark right there for the burn. Don't um, forget the pole in the back. That's supposed to represent the um, oh yeah. I'm okay. And then it has the little like where his thread got ripped off on like one of the needles on his sweater, <laughs> and then it's got the handle right here that he heats up. Yes. That uh, the 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 Harry puts his hand on and gets a red M on his hand. That's so when clever, it, when so it clever. Up. It's got the house I'm right there. In the description, if you're looking to buy them, they're not that expensive on the resale tip. I got, I got, I, yeah, I hit them for retail. They're not that much expensive over on resale either. Yeah, and then I'll I'll get get the burn right mark now, people. It'll be in the chat. Burn and mark you. right there. Really simple, nice. Um, the other the other one is really cool as well. Same exact colorway, except for the house. It just says Adidas right there. Um, another 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 burn mark though up on this toe, which mm. I like. And then of course another burn mark up here, right here at the bottom of the tongue. And then it comes with two little ones. It shows uh, you know, the McAllister uh, kid right there with the hair dryer and the ironer. If you guys can see it, I'm sorry. Here it is. It's funny on the camera. And then, That's so awesome. Comes with a uh, home alone, the house as well. That they're actually renting out this house during the Christmas season. I heard for you know you can stay there for a day. 
But I really? thought this was super dope. I just I was about to walk out the door literally and go. Oh, no, thank you so much for and showing told me. That's like, yo, I I'm got really about it. to change the thumbnail to the Home Alone thing. This one is Home Alone. I'm telling you that indeed is something. But clip the whole beginning of the video and start with that, and then start yeah. with, and then restart. I just thought it was a treat. I literally walking out the door, and homeboy drops this off. I looked right at her. Baby, give me 15 minutes. Are you serious? 15 minutes? Just give me 15 minutes, baby. <laughs> so, how is the materials on them, bro? Oh, uh, they're really nice. It's uh, it's leather, right? You know, real. It's it, it, it's it's you know, it's your Adidas leather. I mean, you know, it's an Adidas form. It's very nice. It's good leather, good materials. This, of course, is a little like rubbed. Um, the rest of it's all leather. You got a little bit of canvas in between. Okay. You know, the stripes, the swooshes. But overall, the materials on these are 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 good. Uh, mm -hmm. But it is a holiday shoe, and, it's and what was holiday. retail on those again? Uh, the retail on these, I believe, was like a buck twenty after taxes and shipping. You know what I'm saying? So, and you could yeah. basically there's even sizes under retail right now. Yeah. Believe it or not, you yeah. could get them some some of the sizes under retail. Get here. Under. I have it in the chat right I now. I must say, I gotta say something. Please do. I'm proud of Jones showing the shoe. And not actually hiding it, even though there was a battle today. So you know, I was my gonna, man. I, my I man. was gonna do that, but that, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I, I didn't want to do that. I, I saw my man's going up this morning, and I wanted to have an opportunity to show. Can you give me one, one still shot of just maybe hold the insoles in one hand and then show the sneaker in the other, oh, just as a still. Absolutely. Grab the other shoe. Grab the grab a shoe now, and just because I'm gonna try to get that thumbnail going. Smile. There you okay. go. Look at them. Look at that beautiful <laughs> smile. Hit that thumbs up if you're gonna jump in a full locker. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Y'all missed that. Um, no. Really happy. And I should have a. Uh, if I get, I, I should be home in time. My clever Langs, I thought would be here too. They should be here any hour. They're already really? Out. Already? Maybe I have mine. I don't even know if mine shipped. So they should be here today, and I'll show those as well when I get back this afternoon. Maybe a quick little thing, but wow! I to come on here before I was walk out the door. And Dude, I appreciate day. that so much. And then tonight, keep in mind, eight o'clock p.m. We will have a battle. We haven't had the anticipation for a battle. What was the last real anticipated battle where people were like going crazy for it? Riddick and Jones. Yeah, Riddick, yeah, Riddick and Halloween Jones. Halloween one. Halloween one. Yeah, that was the last one. Riddick and Jones, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, this we've been building this one up for a while. There's been yeah. a lot of shit talk. The um, battle of the hands. Yeah. Big hands. The battle of the hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I think they're fresh to death. I saw you doing that this morning. I, I like both colorways. I, I'll okay. be blessed to get either one. I, I think they're really nice, man. I I, I, now, what do you think of the video real quick? It has canvas on the upper. It's clearly canvas on the upper and then suede on the bottom. You can really see it well now. Oh, shit, you're muted. Damn it. I, I, I like them a lot. I think they're really cool. I think they have a lot of neat features. Again, um, I think we'll be any of us will be blessed to be able to get a pair. I mean, they're tough, and unions yeah. doing their thing, man. I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah. they definitely are. They definitely yeah. are. All um, right, Jones, we're shit, man. You got to no go. I know. Thank you so much for showing those. Once again, I'll have a link in the description to get them. You could probably even find them for under retail in some sizes. Definitely. Um, so get uh, yourself they're coming out. Home. They're coming out of full lock on the twenty second, though. though. Yeah, but I mean, you may want them before the. Oh, yeah, but if you buy them, even then, you're gonna it hey, you guys good. have a great day. Shout out to everybody. You too, Keep in touch with me, bro. All right, have fun. Thank All right, you. brother. My guy. Yeah, man. Fucking Jones. I'm glad he showed those. Yeah. I'm really impressed by them. It's great, great review by Jones, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, why I stay quiet for a little bit. That way he can, you know, do his yeah. thing. Yeah. Actually, really impressed by his review. Um, Paul, thank you, brother. Great to see you in here. Don't forget tonight, eight o'clock. The battle is going to be incredible. Um, I definitely want to know how you guys feel about this shoe. I really do. So let me know. Um, let me put a poll and let let's see um, what y'all think of these at the end of the show. Um, I want them. You want them? What do you like yeah. so much about them? 
Um, I have light twos, you know, as you know, I have two. I have the iron purple, you know, the regular, you know, they're good color. I just like the 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 difference that it has, the materials on it. And I like that um that tan color because, you know, that tan tan or bone, it goes mm -hmm. with everything, you know, and, and it, it's a good shoe for like springtime. Oh, man, this shoe would be fire, you know, if any one of us can get their hands on it. True. I definitely agree agree with you, my friend. It's actually it's actually a better collab than what they did with the fours. Not mm. not the not the guavas and the black ones, like the 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 moss and the gray ones. Because the moss and gray ones just got so much going around it. This one's just, you know, let's stick to one base and give you some hints of blue or some hints of gel and you know, like keep it simple but still, you know, fresh to death like they'll be sad. A million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank you last night too for coming by on caffeine. I, I feel like I you had a good time. I, you know, I appreciate you. Yeah, I was, I was having fun. You know, man. it's good. You know, I mix it up. You know, and gave you give you some some Latino love. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and people enjoyed it, man. You could tell. Yeah, I, even if you don't even, understand I'm the on, words, I'm hating on added on to your mix. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, like if, even if you didn't understand the words, the beats were. That's why I put them. The songs that I put. Dude, it, it people the listen to reggae? They don't know what they're saying. You know what I mean? Dance all. Yeah. They don't know what what they're saying. But some the people. beats were fire. I know be yeah. putting out some fire beats, man, on his tracks. Oh yeah, that's why I like him, man, because he always puts out a lot of heat for your feet. Um, Drake. So Drake shared this on IG. Um, so this is a Air Force One. And um, it has, you know, the air on it, and um, it's got like that silver vibe, kind of like on the um, dun the um, dunks, right? Kind of reminds you of, right? Yeah, it's like the Air Force One, the yellow one, that you know mm -hmm. has that, that same vibe too. Yeah. So this um, shoe, this is the only picture we have, but um, I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, what do you think? I mean, it's pretty plain, Jane. It's cool to see. Rest in peace to Virgil. Yeah, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice shoe, you know, rest in peace, Virgil. I wonder, mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, I'm meaning to ask you, do you think they're going to release any of the upcoming ones that were supposed to come out of his uh, collabs? Yeah, they're probably going to spread it out like mustard, but nice and slow now, you know? Yeah, because they, 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 their contract was still good with him, and, you know, probably the family's going to, you know, still honor it. Yeah. You know, it's not like Kobe, we had that, you know, like, Mm -hmm. Well, I think they weren't. I think the problem with Kobe is they weren't feeling how they were distributing Kobe's shoes because we covered that. And I was under the impression that um, Kobe, Kobe's, and Kobe's family was not happy with um, how they made a lot of the shoes limited and, you know, um, didn't give him enough. You know what I'm saying? I kind of was under the impression of that. We covered that story a while ago. So definitely check out that story. Um, you know, I, Double Up is a huge Kobe fan, so you know. Um, what's your thoughts on all that? Why do you, Why do you think all this? Why do you? Th what was the deal with that whole thing? Do you remember really, or what's your thoughts? Well, Vanessa, on she was yeah. basically pissed that you know a lot of like real Kobe fans were not getting the shoes. That was one of that's I, I saw her like she actually wrote like a whole letter, and one of the things is like she was pissed that you know like her the real Kobe fans were not getting it, and then. What pissed her off is like the Mambasita ones were not supposed to come out because, you know, they were still in contracts and they came out, you know, because they, you know, they ship them to like overseas and whatever. And she was like heated about that, like, you know, especially because Mambasita got to do with her daughter. So, you know. Hello? Those pictures came out and she was furious. Yeah. And, oh, she was heated. With every right to be, you know. With every right to be, definitely. Um, crazy. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. I still can't believe we lost Kobe last year. I mean, it almost feels like we lost him this year, you know? Mm -hmm. um, let's go here, since you're here, because I don't know how much time you have, and I'm glad you came up, because I know how much you love Dragon Ball Z. So how do you feel about this? I know you don't have many feel I don't. Do you even own any feelers in your collection? Feelers? Dude, I haven't worn feelers since I was a uh, you know a young sack. Yes, I was a sack, young you know, sack. I, I, I was a small sack. I ain't got the bread I, I got now. You know, I had to like you know we was a yes. real big, so you know feeler was what was, was we could afford. But ah, one, same here, I'm same a, here, brother. They were good shoes, and I don't mess. With, I like feelers, but I'm gonna tell you why it's a seven shoe collab. Because some people might not know. I know you might, 
but if you're not a, a, a avid fan of Dragon Ball Z, the mm -hmm. why is it seven? Because of the seven Dragon Balls, because they have these orbs that you know they they collect and they make a wish and and you know and whatever. So that's why they did seven shoe collab. Mm -hmm. And then they went with the super, the brand new um Dragon Balls Dragon Ball Z one. So I like this feel of collab. Um, cause, uh, the only people that had collabs like this was Adidas. They had a, a collab. I really didn't dig their shoes. It was, yeah, nice. that was a few collab. years ago. I remember that collab. I really didn't dig them that much. Uh, the other people that had shoes with Dragon Ball is Anta, uh, you know, Clay Thompson's, uh, uh, they, they, they have, uh, some nice shoes, but they're just bulky as hell. Cause I, I, ha I have a couple of those. But really? Just I didn't know like, that they did that. Oh yeah. They have a ton. They have like three different, uh, waves they've done with Dragon Ball Z, uh, Anta. It's just really? shoes are like they're a little bit uh, um how you say it, bulky. I think I showed it one time one of the shows, one of those. Mm -hmm. But Fila, I like it because it's it's like uh it's they're you know they're nice. I can wear them and you know not feel as bulky as the Antas because the Antas were just balling shoes and they just look crazy. These I think look fantastic. I never owned any of these effing models in my life. But they look freaking nice to me. That's just me personally. How, how do we feel about these Dragon Ball Z sneakers? Do we like these or no? I'm curious. I'm really curious to know. Do y'all even watch Dragon Ball Z? Because some of y'all, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like my audience isn't really into anime. Um, I love anime. You know, I, I love. Um, my favorite is Hunter X Hunter. Um. With Killua and Gone and all of them, Karapika. Y'all know this. Y'all know this is my favorite. So, if I'm able to cop, I'm gonna get the the all seven pairs. That's my birthday present. I mean, my uh, Christmas wow. present. Wow. Well, you know they they are the price point is is under a hundred dollars. Nope. I think on all. Of them. Yeah, it's like when you're buying. Remember when we bought the horror bands? Like I was able mm. to cop three pairs for a nice price. Yeah. So these ones are like the highest yeah. one is a hundred, and everything else is like eighty. So it's like not too bad. Which is your favorite out of all of them? Well, my favorite character out of the whole series is actually Golden Frieza. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, that used okay. to be my name when I when I when I started camming up with you. When I actually met you the first time, that was my name, like Golden mm. Frieza. That was like then you know we changed it, but I love uh, Frieza and then Vegeta. Those are my favorite guys. Yeah, these will give you good luck though, man. You could get your wishes with this one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I grant you. I wish for W's for everybody here on the sneaker attic yeah. community. That's uh, what I wish. These are these look like the suede is crazy on them, you know? Oh yeah, on that's the Beerus. Beerus? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the it's suede looks that, crazy that, on you. That cat you want, the the was it the Sphinx? Naked mm -hmm. cat. Yeah. This one is a eh, I'm I'm okay. I was never a big fan of this guy, so you know. Yeah. It looks cool, you know, but if I don't get it, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. December 21st, by the way, guys. December 21st. Um, I I think that these are bananas. Oh, Goku's super yeah. Goku. Yeah. I like the how they did the colorways on it. The color, I mean, that's what it is. And and this shoe, I've never owned this shoe before. But I like this colorway a lot. I think it's dope. Um, but you know, you gotta be a fan of Dragon Ball Z to, to really want this. You know, he says one punch man. Okay. So they had a one one punch man collab with a uh bait. Good luck getting those. Yeah. Damn, my dog's going crazy. I wonder if they're my if I have something at the front door. Because Jones said that his his Rockies got shipped. I didn't even check to see if mine were shipped. So, yeah, man, I wanted to cover the Dragon Ball Zs. I felt like that was important. Let's go to uh, more because there's so much to talk about. Like, there's legit a lot to talk about. What do you think of these um, cotton white um, Yeezys right here? Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with Yeezys because mm. they're comfortable. I got a ton of them. But it's like, but it's, you know, it's, it, it's all, I think Jordan was the one that talked about it. You know, they're like Jordan ones. You know, they gave you just... The same old with a different colorway. So these are nice. They look kind of like the naturals. I got the naturals. And mm -hmm. so the only thing they changed is basically the midsole. And then they put a silver stripe. But eh, 
I already have a, I already have like two of those whites. I have the naturals, I have the lawn marks, so I'm good with another white Jeezy. Yeah, I'm I'm good on these too. I mean, they're 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 not cheap sneakers, so why would we spend all that money no. on just a white shoe? I'll get a white white Air Force One. Now these LeBrons are pretty nice, in my opinion. Dude, um, those LeBrons, I've been trying for them forever. I've the I've been to like four out. raffles, into four raffles, and Dude, all they else. got like fur. They're like furry on the back. Let me zoom in on this photo, and you can see. Yeah, but I've been like, to like um, four raffles look trying at the back to pop them. Yeah, that's like uh, that gives you like that LA vibe, you know, the palm trees and shit. Yeah, it's real nice, and I like the um checkered print. Gives it like a luxurious look, like you'll see in like um Louis Vuitton and stuff like that mm -hmm. and other stuff. Yeah, I was you about know? to say that they look like mm -hmm. those uh, unreleased Louis Vuitton Air Forces. Yeah, um, these are sweet. These are effing sweet, man. In they're my they're not opinion. going too bad of a price if, if people want them on the resale. They're oh not really? Too, too bad. No, they're not too bad. I think yeah, like fifty over, seventy over. Not not too bad. They're, they're really they're really nice in my opinion. I think. Yeah. What do y'all think about these guys in the chat? Please hit that thumbs up button and share this too. Um, YouTube's on some bullshit. They ain't notifying my subscribers, which sucks. Yeah. Um, I know those are sitting on the shelves in Ohio at the moment. Okay. Really? Yeah. Hey, Mokey, wow. get us, give us, they hook us up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know, uh, right I know now. somebody that's foaming in the mouth, and it's uh because we know Ham. He oh, loves Ham Air Forces needs so badly. I could. He I loves know Air already. Forces, and uh, he loves. He may LeBron. have already copped them. He may have already copped them. There's a possibility. He might. Uh, he just got the what the nines, right? What she throws. Well, Ham is on a, a war path. You know. <laughs> he is. He really. He re and inside the insult says strive for greatness. Ham is definitely on a war path. Because he was pulling out all types of shit. I don't recall even ever seeing him show. These, now, I now these 350s are crazy to me. Yes. yes. These are sick. A um, must. He says, I put um, a link to me in Tito's battle. Yes, check it out. Check out his battle. And thank you for um, the donation, too, bro. First dono of the day. Um, let's go. What song does Jay-Z have that, that makes you really think? I do anything yes i do oh, okay. anything, anything yeah. for you sing it again i do anything yes i do oh, okay. anything, anything yeah. for you right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's a grammy and that's a grammy i'm pretty sure that's a grammy you know what i'm saying yeah, that, was, that was my no that too. was incredible like... sing it again <laughs> boom, boom boom what's good What's good is my friend Killer Mom, man, and I hope you're feeling better today, brother. Eat, take it day by day. You're going to be just fine, my friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't use that word lightly, too. You know that, too. <laughs> if you know me, you know I don't use that word lightly, friend. So, you know. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, man, these, these I need these. It's a must because uh, if you they look fire. back at Easy, they haven't, uh, the only time they've used blue. I think it was on uh it was like a light blue on mm -hmm. one one of the shoes that came out I think this year. Uh the linen, the linen is a light blue. And then I have the ones that are like black and they have like red, green, blue and uh like a pink. That's the only times they actually use a blue. So but this royal blue is the first time like this thing is just this thing in the streets is going to pop just because it's just this royal, you know, royal toes is People's one of favorite people that that royal colorway on, on Jordans, but this thing just hits another different level on this Yeezys, man. Levels to this, you ain't never lied, my friend. These, are, how do you feel about these chat? Let's be active in the chat and on the playback. I want to know how you feel about these. Um, also, I want to definitely talk about this custom. Um, do you watch Dexter? Uh, it's on my list to watch, okay. but I know what I know what it's about. I've seen the trailers. I've read about it. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, uh, this custom is like I like it because uh, I just saw when you posted it. Mm. It's not like you know paint splatter. Like they actually did like like three D, like three D on the splatter. Morning, the hood. Yeah, it's it's like actual. Look, I'll show you this photo. I have it queued in. You see now. It's, it's like 
it's like guts, like damn it, Riddick left. And yeah, this, and like he be, like he really just slashed somebody up. Yeah, it's sick. And it's translucent here. So you see yeah. through over there. Um, this is a sick ass custom, man. This it's, custom it's... is made by Rupsy Banks, and I will put his um name in the chat so you can check him out on Instagram because we it's always have to job. give credit where credit is due. It's um, a great job. Yeah, um, this is allegedly one of one. Um, for people that don't watch Dexter, um, this is actually the actor who plays Dexter. So that shoe was presented to him in that bag. <laughs> it, it's wrapped in plastic because that's what he does to his victims. Um, he goes only for the bad guys, right? He only goes for the bad guys, people that are pieces of crap of the world that yeah, he yeah. feels some sort of way of. And then he's like a professional at this. Like he has like a, a room that he has all like plasticed out and then he plastic wraps the, the people to the, to the, uh, to this table. And he, he you know, and it's a crazy show. Um, and um, it took me a while to watch it just because, I mean, I heard about it and I was kind of just like, oh yeah, it, eh, it doesn't sound that great. I mean, it sounds like some real psycho shit. I mean, do I really need to watch this? But um, I, there was nothing on TV during the pandemic and, you know, we weren't going out as much. So um, I, um, I did go and watch it and I said to myself, holy shit, what have I been doing? I've missed out on this show. But sometimes it's good to miss out on shows because then you could just dig in. See, mm -hmm. the background is really like what it looks like. See how he has like the it's all draped out in his room and then he has all of his tools really organized. Um, you've got the Dexter logo right there. Um, it's a sick ass custom. Um, it's really like literally, it's like sick that it looks good, and it's like sick too. It, mm -hmm. Like you watched it, you know, about the shows. Like, oh my god, this is Riddick, what his you there? Look like. Oh, Riddick will love the shit out of these. Oh god, Riddick would pay. Riddick like, is having over. some technical difficulties. I think. Um, hopefully, I know. Riddick for a fact will pay over retail. For See, it looks shit. like there's actually blood on the actual toe, also. Um, with oh, the translucent. Yeah. Fuck yeah. This guy it. is talented, man. He put the logo on the tongue. It looks exactly like the logo. Um, who watches Dexter? And, and how do y'all think feel about New Blood? Um, the new show, New Blood. Um, I stopped watching it for a little bit just because I've been a little busy. But um, I, I was enjoying it. I was up to <coughs> episode three. Um, but I, I definitely wanted to feature this. And I just, I asked you guys, and I, oh, my God, the laces are translucent. Really? No yeah. way. I, yeah. Can you say? Oh, shoot. Yeah. The laces are actually translucent. Uh, this is, this Who is watches sick. Dexter? Come on. Where are my Dexter people at? No one watches Dexter? Hey, Shannon. I guess no one here watches Dexter. Oh my God! The oh so, remember the dad from Harry and the Hendersons? Double up, e. Have you ever mm -hmm. seen Henry Harry and the Hendersons? When you were a kid, yeah. Uh -huh. This actor, after you watch, um, I think it's season two. You'll never look at him the same. He plays this character named John Lithgow. Um, and he's probably one of the evilest villains ever on TV. Like, really? Yeah. Like he, like, I'm sure that guy has his whole life everywhere he goes. People are like, oh, Henry and the Hendersons. You know. N after you watch this, you'll never look at him as Henry and the Henderson again, <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. He is crazy, nice. absolutely insane. He's scary, bro. He's super scary. The thing about Dexter that's so crazy is Dexter is, you know, he's he's what he's doing is not right. But you kind of no, that's look at him as, as a good guy. You know? He's a vigilante, basically. Um I, go ahead. What were you gonna say? I'm sorry. Yeah, so I mean he's it's sick. it's a he's, psycho. he's a psycho. Yeah, he is a psycho, but you look at him in a way. Where um, you kind of he's he's actually kind of at points of the show the good guy, um he just gets a little carried away at times all the time um so um <laughs> and he has these slides here 
that I guess he gave him too. And the slides, every victim, he takes a piece, a, dro a droplet, and keeps it in a slide, which is very fucking strange. And he just keeps them all. Um, and then there is his um, ID right there, the Metro uh, Miami Metro um, Police Department employee, because um, he does forensics. So at the scene. So I don't know if that's the insole or if that is um, on top. It looks like it's on top. But um, it's a sick ass show. Hopefully, Riddick I is think good it's now. insole. I'm pretty sure it's the insole. Because what yeah. they did is the um, you know, like uh, what's the shoe that just came out? The the clot. He you says know, the like, new ones. Eh. It's like the the clots, you know, that you can see through mm -hmm. and kind of like see. So that's what yeah. they, they even like my, the Supreme joints I have, kind of. It's like you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I was so impressed by this. I thought that this was just brilliantly done. Um, he also has on the back of the tongue. Um, I'll show you this image real quickly. He has dark passenger on the back of the tongue also, um, right there. So with the and and the plastic, I think is supposed to represent you know what like the the room he has and everything like that. Um, but yeah, this is oh yeah, look at the insole. See the insole? Yep. Yeah. J like, um, Riddick, how many man hours? Yeah, I'm know. having some serious technical problems here, but I'm going to chime in while I can. Mm -hmm, the, these, If these are releasing as a shoe to buy, I got to have these thousand percent. Well, maybe maybe the guy could do something for you. Once again, his, um, his name is the guy who made these. His name on Instagram is um, Rupic, Rupsy Banks. I don't know if it's a guy oh. or a girl, so you know, excuse me, but um, Rupsy, yeah, ben, but, uh, I put it in the chat right now, and we're at thirty-nine uh, minutes, so remember that, or just hit me up, Riddick. I'll um tell you. So I'm gonna tell you this: if this guy is a customizer, right this shoe is gonna go for like um like a shoe surgeon price shoe, five thousand and up. The reports say it's a one on one just for this man. Because you know yeah, he's he, not gonna do it again because it's yeah maybe he could do a different version that could probably be like if you said can you do like a black version or something or a red version maybe um I just sent you the Instagram his Instagram account Riddick because I could I could this I mean if you like this show is a great show. Great show. I remember my boy Atheon Crockett, who's a comedian, friend of mine, dear friend of mine. He is telling me Dexter's an amazing show. He loves Dexter. And this guy's one of the funniest guys out, you know? Atheon Crockett. And he's telling me that I remember years ago he was telling me about Dexter. I'm like, Dexter? Really? Like so many people from all different walks of life tell me about this show, Dexter. Yeah, the laces are crazy. I was translucent. I mean, that's next level. Yeah, it is. You going to be around later, Riddick, to watch this um, battle tonight? Or are you working tonight? No, I should be around. I may not be in right away, but I should be around at some point. Okay, cool. Look at those. Look at what he's wearing. Oh, and I want to say, Graham. <laughs> Graham better... Uh, Graham better keep his... You know, he better stay focused because for some reason he just felt the desire to pull me into the middle of this behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, he mentioned your name the other day. Yeah, he, he pulls me out. into the middle of this for like, I don't know why. I was minding my own business, but hey, he stirred me up and I'm like, hey man, you better stay focused on, on your goal here or else you're going to go down in flames. There's going to be a Graham pumpkin carved out right next to the Riddick one on Jones's porch. He clearly wants to smoke with you. He clearly does. He he literally yeah. said he said you're next, like on some Goldberg shit. Yeah, he did say that. So he better watch out. What I told him, you ain't just taking on me when you take me on. Ask Jones. It's no easy task. You got to take <laughs> no, on no, you're multiple. Juggling, you're juggling with a lot of different personalities and characters. I mean, there's so many different people that that you're you're battling. It, it, yeah, it's man. A so he better he better watch out. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, it's almost like Jim Jones with the ledge situation versus um 
Um, what's his name? Jesus, man, you know. <laughs> um, Freddie Gibbs, excuse me. But um, since I have you here, um, what do you think of this shoe right here? Uh, at first I was like, eh, no, but that one that that shot that you showed where they're actually like a video of them in hand isn't that what mm -hmm. you just showed like a few yeah, minutes ago or whatever mm -hmm. I actually i, I kind of like them after seeing that video right here yeah 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 after it's, seeing them hey, like God. that and the canvas and stuff you know i like that canvas stuff mm -hmm. so it kind of gives me magnus walker vibes with that canvas yep Sack, what were you gonna 100. say? Oh, I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna drop okay. off. I'll see you guys later. I gotta go to work. So, all right, bro. Yo, you have a great man. day, man. Much love, man. Shout out to uh, my dude for coming through. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. And thank you everyone that's watching yeah. live too and on the playback. Appreciate you all. Appreciate your time. Um, yeah, and then do you are you do you watch Dragon Ball Z? Is this something that you're into ever? Like, I don't I feel like you're not into the anime, are you or no? Not really. I think the only anime I really watched was back in the day on old MTV liquid television, like that Aeon Flux and all that. Yeah, that was dope. She was Yeah, otherwise I haven't I don't really I'm not really I mean unless you consider Voltron anime, but I don't I don't know if that's considered anime. I consider that mm -hmm. just a cartoon, but I know yeah. it comes from like the same kind of mm -hmm. realm, but you know, nah, I haven't really been into anime that whole really all that much they kind of label anime like when i look at anime it's like if it's like a japanese car animation you know then that is kind of put into that category that's that's just how i've always seen it yeah like, but um i will say man that freaking they did a great job on them dragon ball z shoes definitely oh um, yeah they look cool yeah, they look super cool. I mean, they nailed it on Vegeta. I mean, it looks just like it. And the model... Fila, looked, Fila's uh, kind of coming out of the woodwork doing some things, it seems. Well, well, Fila is a weird brand because they do, like, amazing collaborations. Um, I just feel like sometimes they don't do enough of them. And that's where the problem sets in. That they yeah. just don't do enough, you know? Like, mm -hmm. if they would just do a little bit more, then I think they would get more, um, they would just get more coverage. from. People. Yeah, it flies you know? under the radar, that's for sure. Yes. So that's their whole issue. Mm -hmm. um, because they, they do, I mean, they've done Ghostbusters stuff in the past that was freaking amazing. They've done... Um, other uh, there's so many collabs i'm trying to think off top and i'm just having a brain freeze but um they've done a lot of amazing work and you know like someone like reebok for example reebok does not stop yeah they, they have hit the streets like like crazy this year like yeah they did if you think about it think about all the amazing stuff they dropped this year i mean oh man as far as collaborations go, I think they take the cake for this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they're just pumping them out left and right, all kinds of different collabs and just crazy. It's been it's been nonstop. Um, what what do you think is the best collab from Reebok this year? Uh, I'm gonna have to say I'm really I, I'm gonna have to say the Jurassic Park. I think so too, bro. I agree with you. The Jurassic Park was phenomenal. The box, the actual shoes were mm -hmm. great. And and that was a big thing. The shoes being so nice. Because, yeah. Um, and a wide variety of shoes too. You know, like a whole wide spectrum of different styles and, and, and approaches to it all. 100%. I mean, it was it's insane how how um they nailed it on so many different levels mm -hmm. i mean it was like literally just relentless just keep like every single thing and then and there was so many connecting of the dots too which i loved yeah like how they connected the dots with um 
the Barbasol can. Like yeah, somebody yeah. Really had the Barbasol can. And what was cool is that the price point was high on the pump, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people said it was because of the box, but it really wasn't because of the box. No, because no. They did also release the um club, what was it, the Club C, mm-hmm. and that was a hundred dollar shoe or a hundred and twenty. Right. And that sneaker freaking I got and it came in the same effing box. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it there there was they well, I can vouch for the pump. Uh, the pump one specifically being a different and probably higher grade material than the normal pumps they mm-hmm. put out. Uh, it, it has a lot more going on with the materials on that pump. So oh, that yeah. may have contributed to the price. Real, Yeah. But well, who else had it? What's that guy's name that, that, that um, pissed off um, blackout customs so much? Um, oh, shit, I don't remember. Yeah, he hasn't been around in a while. He's out of sight. Out oh, of wait, mind. no, you're talking about Merlin? Merlin Graves, yes, Merlin Graves. Oh, so, he'll be mad if I don't remember him. I, I got to remember. <laughs> yeah, so Merlin, he had those too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and um, he loved them. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Merlin Graves. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, what do you think of the Home Alones? Did you see um, his video, his uh, Jones review him? Yep. Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself for not going for him, but there is another opportunity coming, I know. So Dude, I might try I for them. I'm pretty sure they're under retail on StockX, and I have a oh, link in the okay. description. So please use it, people, if you do. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I really like those. I, uh, Really needed to see them in somebody's hands first, I think. Me too. Mm-hmm. That was my whole thing. Because I, I, you know, I can't just be buying shit like that. Especially mm-hmm. now during the holidays. Like, we got kids and shit. Like, I just can't do that, you know? No. So, I got to really, like, like next year is different. <laughs> but this year, <laughs> I got to fall back a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, these Dexters, I'm I'm pretty freaking impressed. I I I feel like my audience doesn't really know much about this. Uh, yeah, Merlin, I got him now. Just take a second, you know. I didn't. I, if I don't see you for a while, you know, you know what? It, I I see like like Shannon. Even Earwax is always in here, so I know it's him. You know, Ghostbusters, the Shack Gnosis, yeah. Bape, also another collaboration. Look, he's actually contributing to the show um, and not just writing a bunch of music, Graham is. <laughs> that's Graham right there, right? Yeah, that's Graham. That's Graham's burner account. That's, yeah. that's what we've come to the conclusion with. He's got three different accounts. Uh-huh, 100%. <laughs> There's not, that is Graham's account right there. Earwax. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's see what else we got. I know I have other stuff that I wanted to dig into because there, there's a lot a lot of different stuff going on. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, just bear with me. This is an off-white, uh, not an off-white, a union um, sh- shoe that's coming. Um, let me see if I can get a date on these, these Cortez. It's 2022. These are coming out. What do you think of these? Do you have any Thought on this shit right here, or <laughs> hard pass for me, man. Yeah, they're kind of like I mean, I don't know. They're not terrible. They're just um, they remind me of like, like a like a mid aged woman that likes to go hiking would wear. You know, I don't know. When I Grandma like Betty may like these though. Yeah, I think Grandma Betty would definitely like the materials. Look really nice on them, but it looked like oh yeah, the materials. Thing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it looked like the insole has cork too. I'm like a damn hawk, the way I look at sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like the um the outsole, the midsole, excuse me, has like um holes in it. Huh? Yeah, kind of like a cork vibe with the insole too, maybe. Mm-hmm. Which is weird. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but it, it's not amazing either. You know. Right. So, I mean, they're cool, I guess, you know? I mean, yeah. I'm not like crazy about them, but um 
I'm also not like shitting on them either. I won't shit on them. Mm. So, what do y'all think in the chat? Let us know, please. Um, I definitely want to know how you feel about these shoes right here. Please, please, please let me know. Um, I got to adjust this damn title, man, because like we keep talking about all types of stuff. Dragon Ball Z, Fila. Sneaker. Yeah, my clubber lang should be here tomorrow. I wonder if mine came in because my dog's spazzing out. Hmm. This is when were, yeah, mine were supposed to be here today, but of course, you know, it's the holidays, the shipping's gonna be wonky. But Jones is so vital in the morning, especially with that morning report, because that's when I can run and check some real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he knows sports so crazy. And I know y'all like that morning report. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, one thing He's about Jones, ready to rock and roll with that. I've learned about Jones, he loves the holidays, and I think that's awesome. Mm. Um, what do y'all think about this guy? He's wearing uh, one, two different Travis Scott shoes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. What do you, I would never do this. Would y'all do that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'll wear a mismatch, like a pair of shoes that's intended to be mismatched, but I would never do that. That's a little That's much. just ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's not even the same sneaker. Like, no, I know. <laughs> oh man! Wow, I'm not, yeah. You're gonna start seeing now. See, you're gonna start seeing that everywhere now. People are like, yeah, man, that's the uh, trend. So we're gonna do that now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think if you mismatch, you, there should be a law where it has to be the um, you know. Hey, listen. If he feels confident in that, kudos to him, right? Yeah. More power to him, man. Yeah, I was just curious because, you know, I did, I just seen that photo and it stuck out to me. What do you think about these Polaroids? Oh, that's interesting. I actually kind of like those Polaroid. Huh. Pay attention to the ankle. You see that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Very interesting. Yep. Chat, what do you think of that Polaroid? Let me know in the uh, comments. Let me uh, let me see if I got those damn clubber links. I'll play. I'm gonna play this quick. Um, yeah, go ahead, man. I'm gonna play um this right here. I just realized I can play this. Oh, let's we'll start it from the top one time. Look at the poor kid. Look, he's happy. <laughs> he's trying not to cry. <laughs> Before and after. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Before, I can't even tell the difference before and after. <laughs> Some... Yo, the before and after is crazy. <laughs> after. Looks like he shaved his beard and shit, but Yo, the top of it. What the fuck is this is difference? <laughs> Yo, I can't. Look at the before and after. Is there any difference? What the hell is the difference? <laughs> it, it's it looked like in the first photo he just got out of bed and then he put a little bit of brush on his head on the second photo. So let me just set you guys up for this. Back in the days, they had these late night infomercials. They still have them now, I think. Um, but you, you, if you have a bald spot, they literally had a can where you spray like, you look like paint. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if people really bought this shit, but you got to be crazy to buy this. Oh my God. Oh, look at he got the ball. <laughs> Yo, just spray it. You good. <laughs> Yo, I can't. Yo, we can get the widow's pool. Oh, my God. <laughs> he should have sprayed it straight. Hooked him with a little Caesar action. Oh, my God. Look at this fucking guy. Oh my this god. This is ridiculous. <laughs> DJ Dells, you know I love you. Shout out to uh Troll McGinnon. I haven't seen him around in a while. I hope he's doing good. I know he's doing good because I follow his Instagram, but he must be busy because he usually comes through. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he ain't been around in a, quite a while. Yeah, yeah. 
I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, look, it takes two to tango too. I haven't been checking out his YouTube channel just because I've been very busy. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, but much love to him. Um, Dallas, did you hear about the two um, 12 TikTok challenge? No, I haven't. I'll look into that. Just send me a link in my Instagram, please, if you would. And, and great to see you, Henry. Henry, tonight we're going to have an awesome battle, by the way, tonight. YouTube is pissing me off, man. I can't believe they haven't. Like, there's, they're just, they never tell my subscribers when I'm live. It's just no. so weird. But yeah, tonight, 8 o'clock, we're going to have such a sick battle tonight. And it's going to be a comedy fest. Oh. It's going to be, this may be the funniest battle ever. Y'all out there don't even know yet. Yeah. Half of it. <laughs> this is going to be a really funny battle. So, um, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock p.m., okay? Um, it's going to be insane. Um, and there's been a crazy buildup for this. Uh, so I'm I'm really really looking forward to it. And um, what do you think of these shoes, by the way? This um is the Mellow uh, Puma mm -hmm. sneaker. Do you like these or no? I like the shoe, but I don't think I'd rock the all red one. Yeah, that's me too, man. I'm not. I can't do all red like that. Um, I do like the shoe, like the the model though. I do like that. Like I have two all red sneakers already. Mm -hmm. So it's and and also I'm I'm just not into wearing like shoes like that no more like full colors if it's some loud like yeah. I wear all white sneaker all black sneaker but you know it may be that I'm just getting older now that could be the case so very true you know which is fine I embrace my age um you know mm -hmm. some people some people think that you know when you get older it sucks it, that's what that's in the eye of the beholder I mean what I've lived is epic you know my life has been epic uh, my yeah. generation epic so you know like i look at that and i say wow well you know some old some people are younger oh you old as shit well i grew up listening to um, mob deep and wu-tang and tupac and biggie you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um, those are my guys that i listen to you know what i'm saying like yeah, like I lived in an era where I didn't—I could go outside and actually not have to wear a mask and do a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take right. where I am over over that. You know, the only thing that sucks about getting old is just getting like the physicality of it. But um, besides that, I mean, I'm super happy. That oh, I uh, I got the gray hair to prove it, man. It may look like brown hair on my head, but believe me, it's not natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought Kurt Cobain. I bought Nirvana's first album. Like some people say, "Oh my God, you're old as dirt." I I look at that as a uh like something to brag about. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, one awesome. of these days I may embrace my grayness, but right now I'm still not yeah. embracing like, it. It's just the <laughs> I'm not ready yet. You know, <laughs> but we just got to try to take take um care of the, our health. You know what I mean? And that, that's something that I'm really working on too right now. Um, you know, but yeah, man. Um, what, what do you think of these Travis's now that we have video of it? I told you guys, this is gonna be an action packed uh show today, uh, a lot to show. What do you think of them? Oh, it's uh, man, it's gonna be something. Let me ask the, the chat a question, too. Um, let's see. Let's end this. You definitely do not want to miss tonight's battle because the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes, you guys don't even know. It's mm -hmm. gonna be you, you just trust me, you're going to want to tune in and watch this one from beginning to end, my friends. Yes, and that'll be tonight at seven o'clock. Um when it comes to that union two we showed earlier, fifty-one percent says hot and forty-eight percent says not. Um, damn, I forgot what I was going to ask. Um, oh yeah. Let me ask this question. Are you mad at Travis? Yes. No. So are y'all mad at Travis to the point you're not wearing his sneakers? Um, it's been a little bit now. Time has, um, 
Yes, R.I.P. to Killer Black, QB. Um, so, um, are you guys still mad at Travis Scott? Or were you ever mad? There's a poll. Let me know. Do you feel comfortable wearing his shoes? Um, my whole thing was I felt like out of respect for the victims, I wasn't going to just wear a bunch of Travis Scott shit. That was my whole vibe. And I also mm -hmm. felt some sort of way because I felt like certain things were a little weird. Like um, we did have a really good conversation, me and um, and Riddick about um, this. I think it was on the Dell show. Mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting for them, Chappelle. I'm waiting for them. Uh, but yeah, I just peeped and they weren't there. Uh, my dog was going crazy. So I thought, whoa, maybe uh, they're there. Um, I don't even know if they shipped yet, though, to be honest with you. I have, I have not been checking. Um, but yeah, um, I, 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 there was a, that one clip where he's singing still and they, that they're, they're crowd surfing that guy over that mm -hmm. freaked me the fuck out. That, that's what really made me feel a little weird about everything. Yeah. Um, but besides that, the more I look at things, the more I'm kind of like, I think maybe people are kind of maybe giving him a little bit of a hard time with the, with it, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. I still stand where I have stood the whole time. And I don't own any Travis Scott shoes, but if I did, I too probably would not have worn any out of respect for those that have passed. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, would I f not wear them forever? No, I'd probably eventually wear them, start, start wearing them again. Yeah, because I just felt, I felt uncomfortable wearing them. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna be honest with you. I just I felt uncomfortable wearing them, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I know some of you may say, "Damn, you're unsensitive." I mean, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. Um, but um, I I definitely don't feel like a piece of crap if I wore them. But if I did, and I'm not saying you guys are pieces of crap. If you wear my, I make that clear. <laughs> Let people like, damn, Dells, what the hell are you saying about me, dude? I mm -hmm. just, me personally, I felt uncomfortable, you know. Um, so, you know, that's just me. Um, but, you know, everyone's de everyone de deals with stuff differently and thinks differently. And I always respect everyone's opinions. Uh, yeah. And, and everyone should, you know. So, but... You know, it's tragic what happened. And there's news on it, too, which I may talk about in a little bit on the Dell show. I've had a lot of people sending me messages. Um, I think Richie Stockman did. I think also Jones did. Um, Richie did send me something on. Um, Richie, do you mind if I call you Richie or you like Rich better? Um, or no, it was Steve Redman that did. My bad. Steve Redman did. I don't know why. I will. You guys, you guys got to always remember. It's something I learned this year. I actually have autism. So, like, when I do, like, the backwards and mix names up, I it's because of my autism, um, which, you know, it sucks that I have it. But, it, I mean, at least I know why I do that. Because sometimes people may think I'm just strong. You know how I many people probably are pissed off at me? And I legit was just saying the wrong thing by accident. Like, oh, yeah. Like, mixing up names and words or, like, like it's crazy now that I think about it. I probably some of my YouTube beef probably was because I just said the wrong thing by act like in the like I mixed because I mix up words and names all the time. I mean, you yeah. hear it, you know. So I mean, I'm not trying to play the victim either. I mean, shit, I, that, I'm far from that. But you know, I I see words and names and I get mixed up. It, I I'm not like high on the spectrum. So I mean, but I am on the spectrum. So, mm -hmm. excuse me when I um say shit backwards and all messed up. Um, but um, yeah, I like these. Um, let's see if we have any votes on this poll. I'm just curious to see your opinions. I know so, uh, there's a lot of you guys that really still um, are not happy with Travis Scott, and I respect your opinions on that. Um, so, um, forty. I mean, uh, thirty-one percent says um, yes. I mean, uh, thirty-one percent says yes, and um, sixty-nine percent says no. Seventy-one percent now says um, no, and twenty-nine percent percent says yes that they're mad at him. 
Okay. I respect that. I respect that. I mean, look, as I said, everyone's got their opinions. Um, and this shoe, it's a, it's cool. It's a cool shoe, you know. Um, let's see. There's more, though. I have more. I know I have more. I just got to look for it. Um, I'm so excited for tonight's battle. I really am, like, hype about this shit. It's going to be one for the ages. Yeah, it really is. Um, so this is the um, this is the Clot Jordan Five right here. Um, how do you feel about this? That's right. a low, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like it personally. Now I know some people don't like the Five as a low, but uh, I'm in the minority there because the other Fives I've seen that are a low I actually like. I don't actually own a low five, but I wouldn't mind owning it at all. Like, I, I like how that looks. I mean, it looks good to me. Um, yeah, I like the, uh, I don't know, just like how that looks. It doesn't bother me at all. It's very Christmassy. Yeah, oh, yeah. So who's battling tonight? The one and only Graham versus Mr. Big Hands himself, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Little Hands versus Big Hands, as Zach said. The battle of the hands. The battle. It is the, the battle hands of the hands. Um, and if you guys want, I may post stickers of this artwork. If that's something you would like, just let me know. Um, I don't know how a t-shirt would do, but stickers are cheap, and you know, um, you guys may want the stickers. So just tell me if you want a sticker, and I'll I'll make sure to have that available for the night. So you can clap on your laptop or something, you know. Um, so. Yeah, Ali Frazier sent me that little artwork in the side of, um, <laughs> of uh, you know, the Golden State Warriors versus the Knicks. So <laughs> I just grabbed everything everyone had and kind of just slapped it all together. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, let me take this off um, and um, let's see what the chat got to say about these shoes. Yeah, yeah, Loud Pack, you don't want to miss that. You were, well, you were on caffeine last night, right? I think you were. It's so hard because I, a lot of the times you guys don't have the same name. So I'm like trying to figure out if y'all were on there. Um, yeah, the Graham is so funny, man. You know, um, let's see. I don't like sneakers. I don't like his sneakers. I don't like the man for putting forward the team of Kardashian gold diggers and putting. Okay. Yo, you got to subscribe to my other channel, um, uh, Earwax, a.k.a. Graham, The Dell Show, okay? You definitely have to because you would really love the content there. Um, you would really love the contact there. Uh, content. Um, no, no, no on the fives. That's what Killama says. They're so Christmas, though. Like, these should have released for Christmas to yeah. me. Like I would actually wear these on Christmas, but I wouldn't buy this shoe. I'm I'm I don't I've never owned a pair of five lows ever in my life. Um the beads, it's like is it beads? Oh no, it's like a wiring around over there. That's interesting. It's I like think I have a theory about why I'm okay with the five being a low is that I haven't really owned a lot of fives at all in my life. A couple mm -hmm. here and there. Okay. And so it's not, I don't have as much of an attachment to it. And I mm -hmm. think that I'm more open minded to accepting it as a low, maybe is the reason. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Um, also, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, please. Show that love and support um, and share these videos if you could, because it's the only way this content's getting out there. Um, this channel's been shadow banned. So, like, we, we because the six is my all-time favorite Jordan, as you know. Yes. And when I see that as a low, I'm like, oh hell no. No, so, that hurts my that hurts my soul, bro. Yeah, that that doesn't fly with me at all. What's up, fat boy kicks? Good to see you in here, bro. Tonight, it's eight o'clock, bro. We're gonna have an amazing battle tonight. Think of questions. Think of funny questions too. You have time to think about it. You got Graham versus Jones, you know. Um, and they're gonna be roasting the shit out of each other. I know oh, that. <laughs> um, it's gonna be ridiculous. So I cannot wait. Um, didn't cop those and the gold lows, Dells. Didn't no, I did reviews on them at the store. 
but I didn't because I used to do the reviews at the store, you know, because mm-hmm. I couldn't buy all these shoes, especially once I had kids, you know. Um, when I before I had kids, when I first started YouTube, I was buying everything because it was like it's basically single yeah. for a long time, you know. And you know, like I mean, I was well, I wasn't single, but I wasn't married. Excuse me. So you know, there's a difference. I, I actually was taken. Well, I, I don't know what the right word is. Not taken, but I was date. I was dating someone, mm-hmm. and then I ended up getting married. Um. Like that old house where you've seen all the, you know, the the magazines, which some people to this day don't realize those magazines were on that wall because I'm actually in every single one of them source magazines. <laughs> you know, like, why did you have a bunch of hip hop magazines back in the days? Like, because uh, some people don't understand I used to do a lot with music back in the days. I, I stopped doing music because I didn't like the music industry. It's uh you know, First video have- I ever watched, man, was way back in the day. It was like 2009 or 2010, and you just had your wisdom teeth out, and you were reviewing oh the Twilight God. Zone pump. Oh, that's when I had dry socket. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That was the worst. Dry socket is horrible. If you get your wisdom oh, yeah, you know, teeth and you get the dry socket, the pain was so bad. I hate taking pills like i'm like not like a drug kind of guy i hate it yeah. i don't like it some people do it for um fun you know i don't mm-hmm. like the way it makes me feel um but let me tell you something man i was pounding down them pain pills because they were it, i was in so much pain that it would it actually helped me you know as i said i mean those are those are supposed to be made for those occasions you know i, I can never understand how people take them recreationally I, 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 I to this day i never could understand that um me either man but that man that pain was bad it was bad 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 the pain I mean, oh yeah man i can take some pain you guys know that you've seen all them crazy um uh, crazy anything video. involving teeth man will cripple the strongest dude i swear it's it will crazy how teeth and by the way, we may get Rick Ross versus Jay Z. This is with uh, what um, Steve Redman um, sent me. We may do. We're going to try. I'm going to try to entertain that today too, on the Dell Show, my other channel, the Dell Show. So, so subscribe there. But yeah, it's crazy how teeth, yeah. the mouth is so sensitive. It's insane. Like it could really put you down on your f and knees. You know. Yeah, it can. Yeah. He said that. Um, or she said that that's um doesn't that Jay Jay would destroy um Russ, okay. <laughs> so I think I covered everything I wanted to cover today. Let me double check um the news. I just want to make sure that there's nothing new that I haven't covered yet. Um, because there's so much stuff all constantly going on. Oh, look at this. Okay. I got something here. Um, let me save this image. And I'll show you guys this real quick. Let me just load it up. Um, bear with me one second, guys. Uh, okay. Let's delete this. I have to, you know, I'm on StreamYard and I have all these. I only can upload so many photos. I have to delete stuff sometimes. And if you're watching this on the playback, or even right now, feel free to send a buck or two to the um, Cash App or PayPal. It goes such a long way because I actually pay for this every month. Um, I, I, you know, and write a little something so I can shout you out. And I always do that on the next show. And feel free to start submitting questions through PayPal and Cash App if you'd like during the day. It's five dollars, so you could submit your questions now if you'd like for tonight's battle. So there they are on feet. Interesting. <laughs> so these shits look like. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? I'm sorry, guys, if you like these. <sighs> Watch later on. I'm going to say, yo, I need these so badly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you're all gonna say, Dells, I remember you're gonna pull a Jones, is what you're gonna do. To you can you give know. it to me too. Please give it to me. 
<sighs> Yikes. Jones um, is notorious for that. Oh, hell no. These things, oh, man, yeah. these things are these things are terrible, man. I ain't going with these, baby. No, no, not <laughs> one thousand ten percent. I ain't going for these. Oh no, no, no. Uh, and then six months later, oh man, I think these are fresh to death, like a million bucks, baby. Yeah, I gotta get these, baby. <laughs> I put a poll up. Cortez, yes or no? I can see women rocking these and them being dope for women, actually. But not, I don't, I, and, and I don't know why, but I just do see like women wearing these. Like, and I would love to hear Ali Frazier's opinion on these because he, he's a Cortez guy. Mm -hmm. He's a West Coaster. So like, I'm really curious to hear if like Ali Frazier thinks he's a dope because he may think these are dope. I want y'all to, to tell me how you feel about these. Says, look who the cat dragged in. Who's in here? Dells, the feel yes, they are. We we're just talking about them in the beginning of the sh Henry. Watch the beginning. We showed on um, the Home Alone sneaker. Um, Jones did a phenomenal review on them. I don't know, man. About it. he says these are dope. If you like them, that's what's up, dude. This would be dope to make a Chucky custom out of. Oh, Solomon likes these for sure. Yeah. You could make a sick Chucky custom out of this, I think. Oh, you probably you could. Have the tools ready for it because you have the canvas; it's kind of striped, so you could work oh, yeah, with that, that shirt. Look at that! Look how I'm able to just see weird shit and make things happen. Think about it. All you got to do is recolor stuff and add buttons to it, and you literally got yourself a Chucky custom. I mean, a kick-ass Chucky custom too. Mm -hmm. Or am I tripping? I may be tripping. Oh, I can see it. Oh, also, yeah, those Stray Cat at Night um, New Balances did release today. Thank you, Google account. Um, did anyone cop those today? I'm sure they sold out. He says, I'm at work. No doubt. Um, I was talking about the shoes, Dells. Looks like a, looks like a mouse the cat ate. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, bro. It's a mess. I don't, and and the holes all over it. It does look like a like a cat kind of just digging their nails into that shit, you know. Let's zoom in a little. Shout out to Yankee Kicks. Got to give credit where credits due. These this is Yankee Kicks um photo. Check him out on Instagram and also I I'm sure he's, he he's, he does have a store too where you get some of these shoes. I think. I mean, he definitely. I would hope he has those socks for sale. If anyone would like those socks too. Um, so, um, suede looks nice. It looks like, like a real tough canvas, like a solid ass canvas. Yeah. Um, and then, but look at the midsole. Oh my God. It look literally reminds me of like Simba or my cat, Marsha, like destroying something in the house. <laughs> yeah. like, like those rug, like, like a little placement rug, like they, oh, they yeah. just go to town on that shit. Man, they go ham on rugs, man. But I and I, you know I get them the scratch poles and all that. They don't want that. They want to destroy my shit. They don't want to destroy their stuff. Oh yeah, they lay on that stuff. But they yeah. like the cardboard ones. I gotta get some of them cardboard ones. Um, yeah, yeah. My cats like the cardboard ones. But if I like, I bought them a cat tower and this and that and everything else, and they're just like, nah, I'd just rather chew up your furniture. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Feather couch, forget it. Finish. Yeah, yeah. The end of the, the ends of the couch for sure. Mm -hmm. This chair I protect with my life because I know every time Simon comes in, he wants to mess this chair up. You know, like they make those sprays and stuff, like the bitter sprays to try to like ward them off from doing that. They don't care. They're just like, eh. They just go ahead and they just do it anyway. And it's like, all right. Let's see how it is. So, yeah, needless to say, I don't do any, like, you know, major furniture shopping because what's the point? Just bring in new furniture and they'll just be like, oh, look, a new uh, cat scratcher. I didn't know you have cats. Oh, yeah, I got three cats. Awesome. I got uh, Sylvester, Cheeto, and Missy. That's their names. Right. I love those names. Now I got yeah, my dog. I, I, love, I love cats, man. When I was a kid, I had them. And then... And then that was it. And like, 
um later on you know with simba simba came to me you know he was a stray he was living in the sewer he, we mm -hmm. we'd see him at the dog park and i I would just beg for my wife to let me take him in. And she would always say, no, 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 no. And then one day I said, F it. I just picked the cat up, brought him in the damn house because it was bad weather. And I'm like, you know. Same thing happened with uh, my cat Cheeto. He just like showed up one day and he was lingering around the house. And we asked people in the neighborhood if they know, knew anybody that had this cat and nobody knew where the cat came from. He just would not leave. And I'm like, well, I guess he's ours now. So. Yeah, it's Mr. Roger vibes for sure. That's how that happened. Tom and Jerry, he says, um, anyone cop the Soulfly joints this, this morning? I didn't even know they released. I thought they were released. Maybe Were they released on Soulfly or something like that? Um, Dallas, I feel asleep. I fell asleep for a minute, took a nap. Did you see? The, oh, yeah. There's a, I can't click on that link. I'm not on YouTube. There's a Nimsy. Oh, you know what I could do? Go on to. I could just go to Puma and we could look at it. Puma. Um, thank you for telling me about that too, by the way. Um, let's see. Where's the nymphs? Oh, there they are. There it is. Okay. Um, recipes the nymph too, man. I still can't believe it, man. It's so sad, man. Okay. So there's some new nymph shoes right there. I'll put a link in the chat. Um, they're cool. They're cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie and say that I like love them. I need them, but they're nice, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, let me put a link in the chat if anyone wants them. Nim, nim, shoes. I like those black and red ones the best. Me too. That's, as Jones would say, the bell of the ball. That's definitely the bell of the ball right there. 100% <laughs> bell of the ball. Um, yeah, I'll put a link for those. And that, this link will just take you to Puma's site. If you want those mel the um, lamello balls too, you can get those too there. Um, so, but yeah, like man, I said, I do like those lamello balls. I just would, not I, that when there's other colorways, I may consider getting a pair. Mm -hmm. And that, that makes a ton of sense. You know, I mean, why would you buy a shoe that, you know, they're going to come out with 50 different other colorways? Right? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, you know. Let me ask you a question. Is this Home Alone Fall as a as a as a Christmas movie? Oh, it's a thousand percent a Christmas movie. What about Die Hard? <laughs> now that's where that's a gray area for people, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and my personal opinion, it's taking place on Christmas. So it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> okay, now I agree to an extent. Why? Yeah, to an extent. Why I'm not going to say it's why? like, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. you got Christmas carols and everything else or anything like that, but it's you know Christmas been time, treated, so. You know. Treated like, like, like crap in this whole deal with movies. Gremlins. Gremlins was during Christmas. Gremlins? That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, but no one ever says it is. Oh, man. No one ever says that Gremlins is a Christmas movie. No You're right, ever. though. They treat Gremlins like crap. This this world when it comes to Christmas movies, you know. So, well, Gremlins is, a, is definitely yeah. a Christmas movie. This is a nice looking shoe, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is yeah, actually now that because I we we got to put respect on it and actually show it. This, this is a nice shoe. This one is the one to buy. And there's a full size run, and if you're looking for them, get them. Um, this is actually actually very nice. Actually, um, I put the link in the chat already. I'll put it one more time if you're looking for them. I'm super excited about tonight's show, man. Um, really excited about that. I hope to see you all there for tonight because it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be a bad ass show tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be. Oh man! And if you want something. a preview of that show tonight, you could actually honestly watch um, Payne versus Shannon because yeah. Jones and and, and um, Graham just went at each other for like an hour. Like not, I mean, it was like segments of like fifteen minutes, and I kind of just stopped them because mm -hmm. you know, um, 
you know, I want I, I, one thing that I take pride in with my battles is I feel like they run very smooth. Um, at times, you know, when I first started doing the battles, I don't think they did. But I also used to drink during my battles, and I don't do that no more. <laughs> like I used to just be like a social event, you know. Like now, yeah. actually, like I don't do. I'm I'm like really trying to like be focused with that. So um, I'm gonna put some links to some some videos um, that I'd like you to watch too, because I think we may get out of here in a minute. Shannon verse pain. Um, I'll tell you this much over here with our battles compared to others, there ain't never a dull moment with the battles around here. Mm -hmm. Oh no. You, yeah. You will be entertained thoroughly from beginning to end. There is no question about that. Yeah. So I have it labeled as um the prequel, but it'll say Shannon versus pain 82 um, Jones versus Graham prequel, because it kind of was like a, a prequel of the way they were going to going at each other. Um, and it's, it's so funny. Um, super funny. And I also did a video on these Jordan ones. I showed up here that I wore for almost 10 years, um, breads, and I compared it to a dead stock pair. And there's, there's a great message at the end of it for people that are going through tough times during the holidays. I, I, I wish more people would watch it. Um, if you could watch that video, click it and share it and leave a comment because that video should get more views. Um, sadly, it hasn't. So. Keegan, yes. And, and that's the thing, too. Look, we may not have the biggest channel, but we have a tight knit community here. And I, and I love that. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, you guys show love. You guys are into the show. I'm going to continue to do the show, you know. Um, you get it. I'm not getting the views, but I do get a lot of donos. I get people that send me donos. So I have people that send me donos sometimes every other week and just say, you don't even need to shout me out. I just, I love this show. You know, this helps me, this show. So, you know, um, and I appreciate that, you know, there's people that they don't even want the recognition. They'll send me a cash app or a PayPal or just, What's up, just Tito. You just show up. Tito, man, tonight, bro, if you're free, man, it's going to be funny tonight, bro. We got Graham versus Jones tonight. Um, and it, and it, it's going to be a doozy tonight, boy. I can almost guarantee you all will be in tears laughter. It's going to be something. I probably, I probably literally will be crying. I may have to buy yeah. Kleenex. <laughs> you know? Um, Jones made up a really good point the other day. Um, and we I want you to watch the video on this shoe. But um, Jones said, why would I buy this shoe in 2022 when I'm going to buy this shoe in 2022? Oh, yeah. I agree with him on that. I mean, <laughs> do you guys, are, is anyone going to buy both of these sneakers? I want I want those right there. That's all I want. I think by next year, as long as um, the pandemic slows down, I think sneakers are really going to die down. The hype. Oh, yeah. It's already showing. It's coming. It's coming. Because mm -hmm. we showed those. Um, we showed these um, the other day. Well, not the other day, like a week ago. These. I'll show you them real quick. They want to see me locked up. So that, that shoe is not going for a lot of money on the resale tip. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for them, I'll, I have, I'll put a link. And the other one isn't either. 
like both of them are not going for a lot. So, you know, yeah, and the that, level of talent Jones has to be able to review a shoe with his foot is insane. It is pretty insane. I mean, <laughs> Jones is a pisser, man. I, I really like, man, I wish you were able to make it that day. Oh, that I wish weekend. I was too, man. It, like, like they are exactly what they are in person, if if not better, <laughs> you know. And uh, I'll tell you, I was terrified meeting these guys, you know, because I've had ba- very bad experiences meeting people that started off as supporters of the show. I don't like to use the word fan because I'm not a celebrity, um, and um, I don't think I'm a celebrity. I've had arguments with people that actually, well, not arguments, but um, like um conversations about people saying you are no i'm not i'm not rich i am not rich i'm i'm not filthy rich i i don't even have a hundred people in this room right now i am not you know um but people say that i'm i am worldwide known that means that you're that you are but whatever 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 people think they think but um i've had terrible a few awful experiences meeting people that have um been on the show for a while and then i meet them and they're super effing weird you know like mm-hmm. super weird, don't they act? They, they're either just weird people in general, and I know I'm weird, but I think my weirdness is what people like about me. But they they don't they never came off weird until I met them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, and some of and, these people out there, man, they just like when they're on camera or they're on the internet or whatever, are like putting a on a completely person different on. personality than they actually are in real life. Yeah, and and, and, and you see that a lot on YouTube. I'm like, well, I can Billy guarantee Adams, anybody that meets me in real life is going to meet the Riddick they see on here. Because <laughs> yeah. you see I'm it just... too. Like you see a lot of people in the chat that are like like trolling all the time on other YouTube channels. Yeah, I, they're not the same in person. I put money on it. You know. Oh what I'm no, saying? no. They're, they're probably real quiet, and this is their outlet of their their virtual yep. reality. You know. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And that's the thing about social media in general, like, which is like a gift and a curse about it. I mean, it's beautiful because we can meet so many amazing people and, and, and grow friendships. I mean, we literally hung out. Me and Jones and Ali Frazier hung out for four days. Mm-hmm. Four days, guys. Right? What, fr- yeah, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Mm-hmm. Hung out with them for four days. I liked them so much, I drove to them and hung out with them that morning in the right. hotel. If I didn't like them like that, I wouldn't even done that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's one thing, WrestleCade, it was over. I still went to see them because I said, if I don't see them on Monday, then that means that I won't see them probably for a year. And I'm like, no, Mm -hmm. it's not happening. I'm going to see my boys, you know? So, um, you know, um, yeah, they're awesome people, man. Even Stretch. Stretch is a cool cat, man. You know? Yeah, I like Stretch. They're all exactly what you see on YouTube, though. Yep. Jones was so loud when I met him. He was so <laughs> fucking loud, bro. Uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. I thought I was loud. I'm telling you. Oh, I, I can tell. I can I, tell right away he's loud as all shit. I think me and Jones have hearing problems. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'm like even when I watch the playback, I, I I and I forget. And I keep trying to tell myself what I need to do is get a post it and just literally put it here. Don't speak so loud because I speak so loud on YouTube mm-hmm. that um I feel like it's a turn off at times. I, I could like this tone is fine. I don't know why I, I like I'm loud, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do that today too. Get a post it because I forget sometimes. Um. Dells, I'm the king of scammers now, bro, according to the tube. I, I don't watch any YouTube. I've had no time to watch any YouTube channels. Um, so I don't I have no clue what you're talking about at all. Um so you know, I, I literally don't. I don't I, um I don't even remember the last thing I watched on YouTube. Oh, Jim Cornette. I watched Jim Cornette's podcast. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't wait to hear what Jim Cornette has to say about Ryback getting roasted by MJF. <laughs> That's, I hope that that goes down. Um, 
it's, it's the price to the price of yesterday's is not today's life is moving thoughts and mindset change two um, two kinds of people those that fear god and those that think we evolve evolve from animals life's a trip oh shit you got deep oh yeah yeah let's go on nike real quick and then we're gonna skate out of here um because I want to, I want to go to the Dell show and cover a few stories today. So tomorrow we got these things released in these three. Are you going for any of these people? Let me know in the chat. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to go for the the Space Jams. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm passing across the board. I'm going to go for the Space Jams, and if I get them, that's going to be like it for me for a while. Mm-hmm. If I don't. You're then, lying. You're lying. Yeah, I'm lying. You know why you're lying? Because you're gonna get you're gonna want um this shoe that's coming out on the 30th, right? That's why I was just about to say that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm lying double time because there's a shoe come out on the 31st as well that I want. And what's that? It's uh the final uh pump omni zone two colorway for the year. Mm, oh yeah, those are actually really nice. Mm-hmm. I seen those. Those are actually super sweet, bro. Yeah, and they're not. You know, they're the normal price. They're not the higher price like some of them were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those are very nice. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, the pumps are expensive, man. I think I think that that may at times be a reason why people fall back from the pump. Mm-hmm. Because of the price point, but it's always been an expensive shoe, and and yeah. it's not that expensive. It, it, the thing that that irks me about the sneaker world sometimes is like, why can't Reebok charge one sixty, one eighty for a shoe? Y'all yeah. don't have a problem with Jordan charging two hundred now for retros twenty twenty two. Allegedly, we're getting right. two hundred dollars for retros. Y'all don't have a problem with that. Y'all don't have a problem with Adidas charging freaking. Two to three hundred hours for for their Yeezy sneakers. Why why can't, why why Reebok's not allowed to do that, right? Yeah, and their shoe has like actual tech in it that's like a functional device. Not to mention the materials the shoes are made out of is usually pretty good, pretty high quality stuff. Yeah. So they stay doing that boat like that. That's one thing, man. It's so weird, right? To me, it's like people are so brainwashed that like only certain brands can be premium Mm -hmm. some people not all some people i also think that if we're talking about the pump specifically some people may not be riding that wave just because they didn't live through those times facts because look the pump is a weird shoe to to as far as um in the sneaker head world, I do feel that unless you grew up in those times, mm-hmm. I think most young people don't embrace that sneaker as something that's um that's right. classic or 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 relevant. It's because like, trust me I out there, you, you young guys out there that don't know, trust me, you your status was just as high, sometimes even higher, if you were rolling into school with the pumps on. Me too. I love pizza too. If it was so. up to me, I could eat pizza every day. Yeah, you know, like, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the only time I see people wear pumps is when I look down at my feet. I'm, I don't, <laughs> yeah. It's probably been been maybe five years since I've ever seen someone wear pumps in my life. Maybe uh, yeah, I'm the only one I've ever seen, yes, like you just said. That's, like, the only time I ever see it. What's funny, though, is when I'm out with them on, people will notice, and they'll be like, oh, shit. I ain't oh, seen those in years, man. Those are awesome. Or get compliments on them. And it's like, you know, it's crazy that there's people out there that are like, they don't even know they exist. You know, yeah, like they they, know. that's so true because yeah. I've worn black ones, the um, the D Brown joints, and people mm-hmm. were like, yo, where do you get those? You know what shoe I used to, I always would get people talking to me about is like the original Grant Hill colorways, like the, you know, yeah. the one and the two, like, People are like, oh my god! Like I haven't seen those in in, in forever. Like, are you kidding yeah. me? Like, where did you get those? Like, yeah, yeah. Random, you know, grocery store, Target, you know, shit like that. You know. Uh huh. So you know, I mean, 
Yeah, I've never seen I've never seen not one human being wear a pump. And and that's one thing Reebok needs to figure out how to get the pump. Like as far as marketing, and, and Reebok may be watching this because they do watch my show. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is free, free right here, free, free food right here, free, you know. Um, Reebok needs to figure out how to make the pump cool for the young generation. Yeah. And 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 that's the only look, they had Rick Ross pushing the shit out of Reebok. When Swiss Beats was signed to him, mm-hmm. signed to Reebok, Reebok was super cool because they had Swiss Beats. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, Swiss Beats came out with his version of, I forgot what shoe it was. I think it was a kamikaze. And it, and it, it was, the first one sold out crazy fast. And then what happened was, I think they released another one and they made more pairs and then it sat, you know. Mm-hmm. But... Oh, and they had Rick Ross, but then Rick Ross, there was some controversy off a of verse that he did. He did a song. There was something he said in a song that kind of um, was very controversial. And um, mm-hmm. that, I think even people were outside of Reebok's headquarters, even, um, you know, so they were kind of forced to, you know, go a different direction, I think, after that. Um, but, yeah, they got to figure out how to get Re- people wearing Reeboks, this young generation. Yeah. Because without that, it's they're, they're, the Reebok Pump, Twilight Zone, Omni Light, they're going to be successful right now because they're not releasing a lot of pairs of them. Let's be real. They're not releasing tons of pairs of these shoes. Right. Which is smart because yeah, yeah. you have to sell what you, you got to make what you can sell. You can't be having your product. And and they're smart about that because there was a big problem too where when Swiss Beats was with Reebok, they were so popping. Shit was selling. And then yeah. what happened was there was a combination of them making terrible colorways, goofy, goofy colorways. That I thought oh, there was some amazing. really, yeah. <laughs> and then they, and, and um, they also um, would have the shoes on sale and seeing a sneaker on sale is like a death wish, you know? Yeah. Um, it's a turnoff to sneakerheads. Well, there was that one time period, and I think that's what you're talking about, is they just pumped out way, no pun intended, they just, like, there was just way, 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 way too many different colorways and pairs, and, I mean, it was, like, completely flooded, and, uh, you know, ain't nobody buying all those up and then half the colorways were just kind of just like wow i don't even know what that was supposed to be and um it just got way too crazy and the way they did it this year though i think is exactly how they mm-hmm. should have done it yeah um like the the jurassic park was such a knock out of the park the um mm-hmm. The Power Rangers was really exciting. Um, mm-hmm. The thing about the Power Rangers, as time went on, I started really like absorbing the shoe more because I was so excited about the boxes and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they could the the execution of details was amazing, but the but the actual um shoe materials on some of them they've could they i feel like they could have done a little bit better a little more a little more yeah. i'm not dogging them i think they were awesome i have them they're i like i love them i grew you know i watched that shit with my kids power mm-hmm. rangers when they were little and also when i was younger i watched it mm-hmm. but i also think that they they ha- whoever's doing their stuff is doing a fantastic job but I think that material-wise, at times they need to work on that. Now, the Megazoid, um, the Megazoid was the best one they had out of that pack. It was amazing. They, oh yeah. They, I, I thought that that was such a good. Um, they did such a good job on that one. Oh yeah. Um, and then I like that yellow court purple one. Um, but the other ones. Like the blue one, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with that. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. So, like, 
Well, we'll see what happens with Reebok in 2022 now that Shaq's pretty much taken over. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. You may have some ideas that, uh, you know, may turn that corner that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, Shaq is a, is a brilliant businessman. Mm -hmm. He really is. So, you know, sky's the limit. Yeah. With, with Reebok um, now. And um, Reebok has done, as I said, Reebok's done a great job. They just... They have to figure out how to get the young people to 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 love the pump and think it's cool. The thing is, too, it's like the technology. That, see, when we were younger, that was like insane. Like to think you just pump something and then the air goes in. Like mm -hmm. wow, that's amazing. But now it's like I think that people look at the pump. Like I'm looking at like a younger person, you know. Yeah. And they're probably just like this is effing stupid, you know. <laughs> yeah like like because you know i'm just looking at i'm pretending me growing up in this generation you know yeah. what I'm saying? like we got freaking phones that do like everything they practically i'm just waiting yeah. for them to say beam me up and it just beams me to freaking where i need to go you know like, auto lacing shoes that auto, you charge like, a pump is kind of like oh that's yeah. just so old school and so you know so they need let's to face it out. you got the auto lacing shoes which prompts the saying you mean you got to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Yeah. And exactly. how true is that? How yeah. true is it now? 100%. It looks, it's, it's like, you know, but there's, but there's, but they're dope shoes. They look dope to me. Yeah. I love them. Um, you know, my first cool sneaker, quote unquote, cool sneaker was, was the Twilight Zone. And mm. I begged my father to buy me those, the first colorway, you know? And um, they didn't even have my size. And I just lied and said they fit me. And I would wear them and they would literally, I just wore them. I bought them because it was now or never. My father would only take me to one store to buy shoes, two shoe stores to buy shoes. Mm -hmm. um, for people in Yonkers, New York, back in the days, if you grew up in the 90s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, you had Models on Central Avenue and then you had Athletes Foot around the corner, like Diagonal. So those were the stores that I would have the options to buy shoes at. And my father always took wanted to would push for models because models would be cheaper, you know. And um they, they didn't really carry Jordans like that back then, but athletes foot did. So I would always he would always say, No, I we ain't doing that. But then one day I said, Please, all my friends got cool sneakers and I wearing the you know what I mean? I was like, I'm playing basketball, I got my friend Pete wearing freaking Jordan. Sixes. I got my friend Dave wearing the freaking um David um Robinson pumps. Like, please, you know. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm embarrassed. Like, I'm, I go, we we play basketball in their driveways, and then I put my shoes in the. I walk in, we take our shoes off, and I'm wearing freaking you know some regular fucking like Reebok classic leathers. I'm like, you know, I'm begging. Yeah. And he felt bad. He like, special. Yeah, because my dad just didn't understand. He just thought it was stupid, you know. Like, yeah. like, like you got my father, just to paint the picture, he, he came from the Philippines, the third world country. Like, so when he looks at shoes, he's looking at shoes as shoes. Like people don't even have shoes in some areas in the Philippines. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. make shoes out of shit, you know? So it's like, he didn't get that, but he could, he also understood like when I was younger and I needed like the crazy star Wars or GI Joe expensive shit. Like I always had that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to bury my dad. Like I had the damn aircraft carrier GI Joes. Yeah, like, I had them too. Some and that was huge. a lot of money. Yeah. So you know, like I'm not like just keep that in mind. Like he just didn't understand the sneaker thing. So like when he got me, when they didn't have my size, I don't remember what size I wore when I was a kid, but it was like a full size big. Like I literally mm -hmm. would like play like kickball or shit and then the ball the, the shoe would literally fly off my foot at times like but like i just wanted to have those shoes so badly because you know like i i i i, I love dominique wilkins man yeah I had, I had the cassette tape i mean the, the vhs of the dominique wilkins um jordan stuff you know mm -hmm. um check the link you sent i can't sh you got to go on twitter and send me stuff send me stuff on twitter not dm please 
Um, but yeah, man, like, you know, I, and, and I, and I loved Reebok because Reebok was what I wore as a kid. Mm -hmm. Reebok, Fila, like I wore Grant Hills when I was a kid, you know, I wore Reeboks, Kamikazes, all of that stuff. Allen Iversons. I never wore Jordans as a kid. I didn't wear Jordans until I was like a teenager, you know? Yeah. Reebok was life for me too. Uh, you know, once I finally convinced the parents to like get me a pair mm. and, um, so yeah, between like the, a pair of the twilight zones. And then I think later down the line, I had a pair of the, uh, cross training joints, whatever the hell they were called. Also a pump. But then, um, then I had the, uh, Jordan six, the maroon ones, you know, the, the white maroon ones. That was my first Jordan six. And I think that's probably like the extent of like high end shoes I had. <laughs> back then you know because it was like breaking arms trying to get a pair and i mean once i got a pair dude that was the pair of shoes for the year that's it you know mm -hmm. there was no like five six yeah. pairs of shoes or anything like that yeah th things were different man back back in those days like versus now mm -hmm. like like my kids like they own they they have like and they're not even i don't even they don't even consider themselves sneakerheads and i don't consider them sneakerheads but they have like four or five pairs of sneakers, you know, and it's yeah. not me just buying the like the cool Jordans and shit like that, or you know, like they've got vans and all types of like stuff they want, you know, like I like my kids like doing basketball and it's like, yo, I'm actually like these Jordans don't don't fit, don't feel good when I'm playing basketball. So I bought her mm -hmm. some Kyrie's, you know, and she loves them. Like, you know, I it's funny, man. When my son started doing the sports, that's when he was like, Dad these shoes ain't cutting him. And like he started telling me about other kids' shoes, you know, and I'm like, uh Oh, <laughs> and then that's whenever I took him out and we started doing some shopping and he's like seeing this shoe and that shoe. And he wants this shoe. And I'm like, mm -hmm. here it goes. And that's when I started looking at the shoes myself. And that's when I started getting back into it again. Henry, I just, I don't know if you're still in here. I actually heard about that. I actually got a call at 6 AM about all of that stuff too. Um, I'm not going to talk about that here though. Um, I got a call from the school about that, that TikTok thing. So yeah, it's crazy. Definitely not talking about that here though. Um, what do you think about the, not the sleeping bag, of course, <laughs> but, um, that thing is god awful. The Jordan one and the, both of these Jordan ones, the low and the high. Uh, I'm good on the bubble gum. I don't think they make my size anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but the other one, it's cool. It kind of reminds me of a bowling shoe. Yeah. Jordan one's lows do remind me of bowling shoes. Yeah. And that red toe really makes me think of bowling. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you definitely could get away with walking into the bowling alley with these. Yeah, they're like, uh, oh, they ain't even gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. Like how he's got his bowling shoes on already. Yeah. Yeah. But I still, I mean, I like them. That just that's what it reminds me of. And there's no the swoosh has no kind of trim on it. I wish it had some kind of trimming, the piping on it to pop mm -hmm. the swoosh out a little. That's what really makes it remind me of a bowling shoe. Um, mm -hmm. And these release on the twenty seventh, so you know they're they, they're not doing it for me. I'm I'm all of it. So the LeBron is on the calendar now. Wow, these LeBrons are nice. I like these a lot. These are cool. What's retail? One thirty. Okay, that's fair. It's not bad. Yeah, I like these. I think they're cool. Mm -hmm. I love the back. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it for today with this show. Um, we covered everything. I didn't even expect to stream this. Oh wow, these are actually on there. I didn't know that. Yeah, they are. Oh wow, I need to follow that. I need to. Did, I need to put that um I need to like that just in case to do early access. The shipping containers must have finally made it to shore. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's looking like, right, dude? I mean, jeez. They were originally supposed to be an October shoe. Yep. Those Halloween, well, the Halloween Air Force Ones were supposed to be an October shoe. I finally got those the end of November. 
I would love to just be able to get this sneaker with ease, man. Yeah, it would be nice. You know, that would be real. I, that would be really cool if I was yeah. going to get these with ease. You know, right before the year's up. Nice way to finish it up. Mm -hmm. We can dream, right? Mm, we are going to definitely dream. <laughs> or have nightmares. Yeah. Know? Yeah. It's so crazy. So. But yeah, yeah man, man I'm going to bounce. I got to go move yeah. and groove and all that stuff. So. Thanks for your time, bro. I appreciate you, man. I'll see you later, hopefully. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in later. Like I said, I may not be in right away, but I should be in. So. Sounds good. Keep in mind, 8 o'clock. That's when the show will be. Thank you, Riddick. Yep. Catch you all down the road. Yes, sir. Too sweet. And then um, these are releasing, as I said, tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to do a show tomorrow uh, in morning on this because of the fact that tonight's show is needs a breather. Tonight's show is going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be nuts. Um, and then we got these right here that are coming out next year. We did videos on that. We did a really awesome video covering this shoe. I want you guys to watch this video. Dig into the vids. Dig into the vids and subscribe if you're new. We do a lot of content here. Um, but, yeah, Ham gave us a super detailed look. Watch that video. And um, also, uh, man, let me know real quick in the chat. Do you guys, do you guys own the Cool Gray 11s. Let me know right now, please. Do you own the Cool Gray 11s and on the playback? I see a lot of pictures, and it seemed really dark in the pictures. Right. Yeah, they do. They seem super dark, don't they? They're, they're not that dark. No, no. they're not. They're not, not dark. dark. They don't have no peaks in on, on these, do they? Yeah, there's one there, tiny ones. One by the toe. There's one at the top. There's always one. The one top. here. Yeah. Always there. one at the top. Yeah, they're nice, man. Yeah, these are very nice. Leather seems nice. Yeah, it does. But it seems different than material. Yeah, it does. This, like, you see that? Mm hmm But at the last release, way different. But it's actually really nice. These are nice. I re I'll tell you right now, I recommend you buying them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a good buy. I know some people may freak out because, like, it's, like, a little wrinkly over here. You know? I, I can see that. I can see that. Definitely going But uh, just because people are very... Particular, 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 <laughs> particular, particular, particular. Yeah, but it, let me know what you guys think of these. You know, you got your classic patent leather wrapping around. I like the high cut on those. Oh, high cut all day. That's what it needs to be. I'll put a link to these if you're looking for them on stock. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a link also if you're looking for those on StockX. Um, you may you may want to buy them. They're just going to go up in price, guys. This is a shoe you want to get now because, right, like, they're, they're going to go up. They're, that's it. It's it's not going to go down. It's a damn a Jordan 11. Um, so you want to get them now when it comes to that. Um, once again, just a quick recap. Um, the Home Alone shoes, if you're looking for those, I'll put a link in the chat right now. And it's in the description box. Um, I'm really impressed by them. I may... Um, get them i may get those eventually um also the nip hustle shoes if you're looking for it um i'll put that i i was actually impressed with the black and red colorway i'll put that in the chat also um let's see what else just to refresh um the prequel to the graham and jones i would say was the shannon verse um pain battle um if you're just hanging out just click that link right now and watch that if you haven't yet, um, it's you will die laughing, and it, it's a it's a good video to set up for tonight. So um, watch that. Also, that Jordan One bread, new verse old pair, and a very positive message at the end. I'm, if you're looking for some positivity, watch that video that to the to the end. Um, and then the cool gray 11s on StockX. Use that link. It'll take you right to there. And it also helps me out too. So use that link. That is the affiliate link. Um, and also, um, let's see what else. Oh, of course, my sneaker addict t-shirts. Um, definitely pick up my sneaker addict t-shirts. I have some new tees there too that are out. So 
check out my merch. My t-shirts are $19.99 and they're made by the people over that make all elite wrestling t-shirts. So, um, and yes. And that battle was insane. Let's put some respect on them. Thank you, Jordan. And Jordan was a judge too. And thank you, Jordan, for that too. I mean, we will need judges for tonight. So keep that in mind, you know? So if you're free, come through eight o'clock PM, we will have this amazing hysterical battle tonight. It will be um, one for the ages. Um, and if you didn't watch this video from the beginning, you may have just walked in. We covered so much from the Home Alone shoes, the Dexter shoes, um, these on feet. Like it, it just, this was a gumbo of sneaker shit right here. Um, and um, tonight, eight o'clock, not seven, eight o'clock PM. Okay. I will go live on the Dell show sometime today, maybe even twice, possibly twice. We will go live today on the Dell show. So subscribe also to the Dell show on YouTube. And um, if you aren't subscribed here, subscribe here too. Some people have been confused. They go to the Dell show because it goes in the recommendations and they think it's the sneaker radical. It's not. If you're watching on the playback, write in the comments, um, extra anchovy pepperoni pizza. lets me know you watch this full stream. And um, that I give you a lot of props for that salute, man. I'm that's that's um, really amazing. It's it, it, you know, and um, also let me know how you felt about this shoe today too. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'm DJ Dells. You could be anywhere in the world. You here with me? Um, if you enjoyed this show, feel free to send dono sh donations to the PayPal and the Cash App. I am a content creator, and this is one of my ways of income. And unfortunately, YouTube does not recommend my video. So I really need y'all to share these videos. Hit the like button. Refresh this video as soon as I leave and leave comments. The comment, the more comments, the better I have, you know, with this. So, you know, um, if you have multiple thoughts while you're watching this, leave multiple comments. Um, but just don't force it, you know, just be natural. I'm not trying to get you to do anything crazy. Just um refresh in about two five in about 30 seconds and um please leave a comment and if you and um if you're watching on the playback there'll be boxes click one of them boxes and it's gonna bring so much joy to your life and good luck love y'all we out